Hello dear students, assalamu alaikum and welcome back to another video on free writing techniques. I hope that by now you would have already watched the writing process video by Safarhan Bhutto and the first two free writing techniques that were free writing and focused free writing. Today I'm going to continue with more free writing techniques and in this video we will talk about brainstorming which is also called making a list. So what comes to your mind when you hear the word brainstorming? Kind of a storm in your brain? <laughs> well, it's about, um, it's more about thinking of different ideas that come to your mind uh, regarding a certain topic. Imagine uh, the word making a list. Okay, imagine the phrase, I mean, making a list. What do you mean making a list? See, we all make lists for different things, right? When you want to go to grocery shopping, you make a list so that you don't forget anything. Um, and then you keep on adding to that list uh, once you are in the supermarket or you keep on um, you know, eliminating the different points from your list if you have already bought those things. So, or if you want to prepare a speech, you sort of make a list of the points that you will be talking about. Making a list is always handy. It helps you not to forget certain things. So we all make lists in order not to forget. How about making lists in order to discover? So when you have a certain topic and you want to discover dis different aspects of that, you start making a list about it. List making can be a valuable first step in many writing situations, especially those that require you to recall or realize something you already know. So if we give you a topic that is, um, that is already known by you, we suggest you to start with making a list or the or brainstorming technique, which will help you to sort of gather all the ideas that you already know about this topic. You are sort of recollecting all the ideas that are there in your memory. So in this particular technique in making a list, which is also known as brainstorming, as I already said, you collect ideas and details that relate to your subject or your topic here. Now, what do we do in making a list is we pile these items up one after another without trying to sort them out or organize them in any special order. So we, we whatever comes to your mind, you start writing it in a bullet point uh, format. You don't, uh, you don't give it a particular order of one, two, three, or maybe this is more important, this is less important. Whatever comes to your mind, you sort of start making a list of it. Now, your goal here is just to make a list of everything. It's about that topic, about that subject, uh, and whatever points that occur to you, you will be writing that in a list format or a bullet form format. Now here, how do you do it? So you put a title at the top of your list, so you will stay on purpose, and you always know why you're making the list. For example, the topic of your paragraph is why I deserve this scholarship. So we would suggest you to write this title at the top of the list and sort of underline it so you know that this is your title and this is the topic on which you are making the list or on which you are collecting your ideas in a list format. Or for example, your topic is basic facilities that my town lacks. So you will be writing this title at the top and underlining it and then you will be uh, writing all the points that occur to you after that. Now you write as fast as possible and use short words or phrases. You don't have to start writing all the sentences here. This is again free writing technique, which means you're not uh, writing your first draft of paragraph. However, whatever points come to you, try to use short words or phrases and start making that list. Now, this is very important that you don't be critical of any item on the list at this point. You don't have to think if it's right or wrong, if I should include it or not. Like in free writing, you're free to write. Like in focus free writing, you're free to write about one certain uh, topic. Here also, you are doing your brainstorming or you're, do, or you're making a list on a particular topic. And you don't have to worry about if it's right or wrong, if it fits here or not. But whatever ideas are coming to your mind, we suggest you include them in the list. Just collect as many things on the list as you possibly can in a limited time. So for example, you give yourself a time of 10 minutes or 15 minutes and you uh, decide that whatever points will come to your mind in these 10 minutes, you will write those, okay? 
look at your list and reconsider your topic. Now, once you have your list, this means that these are all the ideas that you have about a particular topic. Now, at this moment, you can reconsider your topic. You will rethink on it. You now will eliminate any ideas that don't relate to your topic. Sometimes we think that, okay, this is also a point I want to include, but later when you go through it, you come to know that mm, maybe this doesn't fit here, or maybe it's an opposite idea, or maybe I don't have enough details about it. So you sort of eliminate those ideas that are irrelevant over here. The last step is to organize your remaining points. Now, whatever points you have, you will sort of organize them. You will group similar ideas together and you will try to arrange these ideas in a logical order, which means at this point, you will sort of uh, try to make connections between all the points that are there. Now you know that these are the points. These are all the points I know about the topic. Um, you have made a list. You look at your list again and you reconsider it. You go through your list once again and you realize that point A, B and point D is maybe fine, but point C is not matching. So you sort of cut that one out. Now you have different points that are um, relevant to your topic. These are the points that you have uh, that you are now left with. At this moment, you will start arranging them in a particular order. Which one do you think should come first? Which one should come later? This is at the end of your making a list of brainstorming technique. But your main purpose here is to gather ideas and to collect them in a list format so that you have an idea of do you need to do more free writing or are these ideas enough? Are these ideas enough? I'm sorry. Okay, so look at this. We have one sample in your book. This is on page number 35. This is a sample of brainstorming, also called making a list. Cellular service providers in Pakistan. So this is the, this is the topic. This is the, um, let's say this is the title of your paragraph. Now, how many points about this particular topic do we know? The author here has sort of written all the points that he or she knows about this topic, which are many service providers, mobile number portability, user switching, prepaid versus postpaid, problems of credit loss for prepaid users, availability all over the country, SMS that's popular among youngsters, affordability, free services to attract users. Now, all these points are related to cellular service providers in Pakistan. And this is in the form of bullets. See, it does not have any numbers and the author has not um, sort of arranged them in any particular order. Right now, her purpose is only to make a list regarding all the ideas that pop up in his or her mind on this topic. Now, there's one more sample that we have to look at. Remember the last two examples from John Langan's book that we were discussing, um, annoyances in everyday life and then in focus free writing, we talked about uh, hazards of movie going and here we have a brainstorming sample. This is again on the same topic that's continued. So what are the points that are uh, occurring to this author? Uh, she says not enough parking, parking lot needs to be expended, too many previews, can't pause or fast forward as you can with the DVD, there are long lines, high ticket prices, too many temptations at snack stand. See, temptation spelling is also incorrect, but at this moment doesn't matter because she is still free writing commercials for food on the screen, you can prepare healthy snacks for myself, can prepare healthy snacks for myself at home, stuffs of popcorn with butter, huge chocolate bars, candy has always been my downfall, movie may be sold out. So all these, all these are the points that had occurred to, to the author when she was trying to uh, brainstorm about hazards of movie going. Okay, so with this, let's now um, Maybe do a little brainstorming over here. For example, our topic is Akhraibe University. Now, this is your topic. You write it at the top of your list. And then, and then you think about all the ideas that, that pop up in your mind and sort of start making a list of it. Now, when I brainstorm about Akhraibe, what do I think of? 
Okay, so for example, I think of a green campus, mm, talented students. Uh, we have highly qualified faculty mm, programs that are offered and it's a university with a vision and a mission okay what else mm, scholarships right so there are a lot of scholarships that are offered and extracurricular activities and so on so as i keep thinking about sakara university there'll be different points that will start popping up in my mind and this is how simply i would do my brainstorming and i will collect all the ideas that i have regarding this particular uh, topic which is sakara university now going back here okay um, before my thank you i would like to maybe assign you a small task please go to your uh, page number 35 on um, in skills at two page number 35 in your book english skills for class first year oxford university press and look at exercise three which says choose one or two of the following topics and brainstorm for 10 minutes so you have been given a time limit of 10 minutes and you have around eight different options you can choose one or two and maybe practice brainstorming technique it is very easy very handy many students like this technique because um, it's easy to do and a lot of ideas start popping up in your mind once you hear about a topic so do practice brainstorming and let us know how did it go if there are any questions you may please comment and then we'll try and get back to you thank you very much Hello, Fizz.